Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the sunflower tutorial from the little design that I created a couple of days ago. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen it there. So I also thought I'd show you, um, I've decided to put all of my gel paints inside this palette. I bought it from Amazon, it was 12 99 and honestly, it's one of the best things I've bought. Um, I found that I was wasting so much gel paint that now I can just keep it in here and dip in whenever I need to use it. So I'm also showing you the, the colours that I've mixed to be able to do the sunflowers. Everybody has different ways of doing things and I'm sure that there's plenty of other different ways of doing sunflowers. I have never done it before so this was a complete chance for me um, but I really like the outcome so that's just how I'm going to film it. So I'm just taking the normal yellow, I've got the neon yellow and the normal yellow both mixed with a bit of white to create like a lighter shade for the flower. I've also taken the yellow and some give me strength. I'm just mixing that in together with a little bit of orange. I also add a little bit of brown as well. And this is what I'm gonna use to create the center of the flowers. So next I'm taking the gel polish color pick a lily and add in that with Give Me Strength to create a glass shade. This is also what I'll be using in the flower and I've added some white and some black to my palette as well. So to start with, I'm taking Forget Me or Not and I'm gonna apply two coats of this, cure in between each layer. Then a layer of Give Me Strength, again, cure that for 60 seconds and when that comes out of the lamp, I'm gonna remove the tacky layer and begin to paint my flower. So I'm just gonna let you watch whilst I'm painting, purely because I find it quite difficult to explain. Um, so if I'm not jumbling in the background, then you'll be able to just concentrate on what I'm doing. If anybody has any questions after, then just pop them in the comments below and I will help as much as I can. So I just wanted to jump in and say that I am flash curing between every layer of the different colour petals that I'm doing. And then once I've done the glass coloured petals, I then give that a full cure for 60 seconds. When that's finished curing, I'm starting the centre of the flower. So I'm using my Magpie Illustrator brush and I'm kind of dabbing the centre to give it a little bit of a textured effect add in some lighter or darker um, dots just for a little bit of depth. Then I'm gonna use my white Magpie gel paint and a very, very thin brush to just outline the petals, but I'm not doing it super neat. I'm just kind of, as long as they're thin and you can tell that they're there and they're giving you the shape of the flower, then that's perfect. I'm not looking to do a perfect flower. It was more so of like an abstracty kind of design initially anyway. And yeah, once I've done the white lines, I then add a little bit of white dots to the center, very, very small with my detailing brush, a few white dots around the outside, and then I'm gonna flash cure that. Once I've done all my detailing and I've finished adding in the little bits I wanted, um, I'm gonna apply a layer of Give Me Strength 
Once that's done, I'm gonna add my matte top coat. You can have shiny or matte, whichever you prefer. And we are done. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again next time. Bye.